Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for the month of August. It is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, guys, check out those other placements in your chart. Okay, so we're going to get into your current energy, the near future, what you don't see coming, and then what Spirit wants you to focus on for the month of August. Once we do that spread, we're going to clarify it, and then we'll clear it, get into your person's energy, your energy, the possible outcome, as well as the Romance Angels and Oracle cards. I just want to say a huge thank you to my Capricorns. I love you guys so much. Thank you for reaching out for your personal readings. It means the world to me. I love connecting with all of your energy. And if you're new here, welcome. I hope you'll stay. I do do personal readings, so that information's in the description box below. All right, let's get into your energy for August. This is for Capricorn. So in your current energy, we have the King of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the Chariot. In the near future, we have the Five of Wands in reverse, the Seven of Cups in reverse, and the Temperance card. What you don't see coming, the Empress in reverse, the Queen of Wands in reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Then we have what Spirit wants you to focus on, the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Swords in reverse, and the Ace of Wands. Now your overall energy for the month is the Ace of Swords. This is amazing. <clears throat> it's all about clear new beginnings, getting clarity around things that you have. Here's what I want to say. Two things. One, getting clarity around relationships. This is my partner card. It's like the start into the perfect pair. Now, this could be you finally realizing what it is that is really going to make you happy long term in a relationship. If that's about reviving something that you're currently in, it could be getting the clarity and having that ability to speak to your partner and say, I finally feel like I know what has been missing or why I've been feeling the way that I have and having an open conversation about that. This could also be a brand new start in and work. Maybe you'd been waiting on something to come through and now all of a sudden you're getting that fresh new start. It could just be getting some ideas about how to freshen things up in a business if you own a business or feeling like you have clarity about the direction you would like to take your career. So there's a couple different messages from that. Now in your current energy we have the King of Pentacles. This feels like a lot of stability. August could bring possibly more money, create more stability for you that way. This could also be an energy of somebody new that's going to be entering your life. You could be with this person now or already met them, but I really feel strongly that this is someone new, someone who's grounded and stable and in a boss type of person, meaning they may own their own company. They too could have a big position that they stand in. They just feel very strong and powerful and they know what they want. Like they have a clear vision about what their future is going to look like. And it seems like they have the ability to tell you clearly how they want to move forward. Now, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Chariot in reverse says, the, with this King of Pentacles being there, says you have an awareness now about the reasons why things weren't successful in the past. So could you feel like you understand better why things didn't move forward? Absolutely. This definitely feels also like you could understand why a certain job didn't work out. You know who you are if you're watching this because we had a discussion about this. I feel like that's specifically for you. But <clears throat> it does mean that you have clarity around that. So you keeping your energy really grounded is going to help you put these things that didn't move forward. The things that you thought were going to make you happy may not make you happy anymore. You could definitely feel like, wait, you know, I'm in a place now where I feel really good and I'm clear. So maybe that's not exactly what I wanted really. Did I? You know, it's almost like questioning yourself about that. <clears throat> Okay, so in the near future, we have the Five of Wands in reverse, the Seven of Cups in reverse, and the Temperance card. This is what I was talking about. It's like having patience about 
getting clarity. The seven of cups in the upright is very much about confusion. Sometimes we dream about the way we think things should look and then something shows up in our reality and it shifts our perception in a different direction. This is also about releasing some of those internal battles. In other words, internally thinking, wait, this is the way it's supposed to look. This is kind of a nudge from spirit saying, have patience, my dear. We are taking you in the direction that you're meant to go. Trust us. We know what is best. Even though at times our ego can step in and we think we know what's best for us, spirit will, you know, come in and have that little moment where they poke us. I've been saying that a lot in the readings for August. They poke you and say, mm, wait, because let me present this other opportunity to you and maybe you'll realize that all this time where you've been fighting inside and kind of fighting us that we actually have clarity and we're about to show it to you. So try to be patient as things shift and change because what you thought you want probably isn't. And when that good thing comes in like a new energy or a new opportunity for work, you could actually find that that's going to make you happier than you had expected. All right. So what you don't see coming, the Empress in reverse, the Queen of Wands in reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. That's a lot of reverse energy and it just feels to me like you're doing things, um, when I say doing things, I mean you're kind of holding back. This is not showing all your cards. So it isn't that you don't have the stability or the passion or feeling on top of your game. I think you're just holding things close to your chest and maybe that's a little bit different for the people around you. And I don't even think you realize that at times you can wear your heart on your sleeve and that can create those feelings of, oh, people take advantage or I'm trying to do the best that I can and people aren't seeing that. So this would be you holding back those types of energies and instead of pushing things forward, it's allowing yourself to give it back to you. Know that you're powerful. Know that you're patient and gorgeous or handsome. Know that you have that stability. You have everything that you need within you to move forward. And I think the awareness is going to come to you much clearer in the month of August. Some type of event feels very strongly. I'm, I'm picking up on something and as we clarify, I'll, I'll get more. But I, I feel like something's coming to you that you don't expect and it's a lot more self-love and self-respect not that you didn't have it before but it's like an elevated amount of that all right so what spirit wants you to focus on are the things that you want that are going to be fulfilling yes it are they pushing for you to see things from a different perspective absolutely but is what you wanted something that really wasn't good for you the king of swords in reverse is someone who doesn't really take action and that's not your energy you're the type of person that when you want something you go for it that's what the ace of wands is all about so spirit wants you to focus on the new beginnings the things in your life that you feel super passionate about do it with vigor don't let anything or anyone from your past hold you back from your dreams what's meant for you is not going to pass you by so there is something coming for you, this wish fulfillment. We've been talking about this. Some people, things didn't quite come to culmination in July, so August could be the time. Spirit's like, your wish fulfillment is coming. This person hasn't shown up for you yet in your life. If you're open to love and you're single, what you want is not as clear to you. Stay passionate about what your wishes are. Now that you're figuring you out more, Let's say you closed out a long-term relationship, a marriage, something like that, and now you're starting over and you're like, okay, I thought I wanted things this way, but now I want them different. So don't wait on things from the past that really weren't meant for you. Be open to the idea that you can continue to create these beautiful things that you still wish for. It's a big shift in mindset, I feel, all about clarity around the things that are going to make you passionate <clears throat> moving forward. So this is a lot about new beginnings. Hold on, I'm going to pull from the deck. And getting over the things that were disappointments. 
recognizing those were lessons. They're, when they're done, they're done. They're over. You can't take that back, change it, redo it, none of it. When it's done, it's done. That's the clarity I feel like you're getting. You may have gotten this around the full moon as well. This is also a release. This energy, of course, is yours of any kind of toxic thinking, toxic behaviors, whatever they may be, releasing toxic people for sure, no doubt, and manifesting what's really <clears throat> deep in your heart now. Not what you used to want, but what you want as of now. Doing it with a lot of love and passion and nurturing, but giving that as well to yourself. So this could also be the energy of someone that you're about to meet. This is a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So if you haven't met a water energy, there may be one coming towards you, and that's going to make you really happy. It's going to be something to celebrate. This person, okay, let me keep going because the cards keep working. This is someone who is very open. They don't breadcrumb. This is not someone who's cheap or holds back, doesn't express themselves well. They're very clear about what they want, extremely intelligent, focused, they have clarity about what they want in a relationship. This is a lot moving forward. Now, it may seem like it starts off a little bit small, but what it moves into is something stronger if you're open to the idea that you don't want the same things that you thought you wanted in the past. I think there's a big focus on that. All right, let me put these back and then we'll start clarifying. So Spirit really wants you to focus on that, especially when it comes to the type of romantic relationships you want. If you're currently in one, it, this, this feels like a time of refresh. Have a new conversation about how you're shifting and, and changing and how that's going to look in your relationship moving forward. All right, so the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Page of Pentacles, and then we have the Ten of Swords, and then that Devil Energy, there you are again. So, like I said, if there was someone that you were dealing with, say this is a, a younger person, that doesn't really feel like what it is necessarily. This feels like a new start, a new you. It's like going back into your childhood and remembering how you used to fantasize about what life was going to look like. Recapture that. What you don't see coming is that internal work that puts you back in a place where you start to dream again about what the possibilities are. And that comes with releasing the hurts and the pains of the past and the toxic behaviors of others or the experiences that you had in order to learn, the painful experiences, right? Now, again, you could be deciding that you want to do a new regimen as far as your eating habits. A lot of people want to change that and get a little bit healthier. This feels like a push in that direction. Wanting to release like, you know, don't eat all that junk that's in a box and all that good stuff. That's one message. But it's don't ever think it too much. Just kind of go with the flow. You've been in your head a lot about these changes that have been happening the last couple of years and <clears throat> the need to release things that you've already let go of is always going to be important. Every time it comes up, just release it. We're always closing out cycles, but this is very much about leaving the past in the past. Okay, so let's clarify the Five of Wands and the Seven of Cups in reverse. This is in your near future. For Capricorn, please. All right, so we have the Page of Swords in reverse, and then we have the Two of Cups in reverse, and then we have the Lovers on the bottom. So... If there's someone from your past that you've been hoping to hear from, this is that change that I'm talking about. There's a good possibility that things are not going to come together clearly in the future. I think that there's two paths to be taken. I don't know that the two of you are on the same page right now. If you want that person back, I understand right now. I feel like they may be going through their own stuff with relationships. They could have dated somebody after you or been with somebody after you and decided that that wasn't going to work out and you being patient is fine if you choose to be around someone clearing up their stuff in the past but right now this person is not making any moves not in the very near future and 
when we do near future, it usually is within a 30 day period and this is your monthly. So hold tight if you want to, but for those of you who don't want to wait, there's opportunity for new love very clearly. Okay. So what you don't see coming, the Knight of Wands, and then we have the Five of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. So something that you literally could not see coming. It's like all of a sudden there's clarity, that light at the end of the tunnel. The Two of Wands is about what the possibilities are in the future and what you just don't see. Now there's another new energy that I'm picking up. So there's a King of Pentacles, a Knight of Wands, as well as the page of pentacles so a little bit of different energies it could be a different type of personality that i'm picking up on for each of you but the knight of wands is a very passionate person this is also your energy so where you're going within with all of those reversals you're finding that you come out the other side ready and passionate to move forward into this new beginning it's almost like being blinded and moving forward anyway so releasing any idea that you know exactly how the outcome is, what it's gonna be, and just moving forward with passion and excitement and acceptance as well as faith, I feel. Now the Five of Pentacles, somebody maybe from your past feels very left out or you had felt left out in the cold by someone that you were dealing with who you thought there was a passionate connection, but there's a need for healing from that. So it feels kind of like walking away from any of those things that leave you feeling less than or like you missed out on something. You're never going to miss what's meant for you. There's such a, You have such a beautiful future building up. Is life ever going to be perfect? No, but that's not what it's, it's meant to do. You're meant to come here and learn things. Is it going to be a little bit easier moving forward? I believe since Capricorn shifted or Saturn shifted from Capricorn to Aquarius? Yes, absolutely. So you find yourself just moving forward with more passion and consistency. And then we have the Sun card behind that, which tells me that it's gonna bring you the happiness that you truly, truly desire deep within. Okay, let's clarify the wish fulfillment here. So, like I said, you may have thought Spirit saying, you may have thought something was going to make you happy, but that situation isn't moving towards you. So are you going to continue to focus on what isn't happening? Or are you just going to push forward with all of your might with the Ace of Wands, uh, this new beginning that's trying to work its way into your life or hold on to what isn't there? See, this is you. Spirit's like, pay attention because your ships are coming in. That's the Three of Wands. We had the two of wands about the future, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. And then spirits like have the expectation that things are going to work out. We're setting this up for you. All right. And then we have the six of wands and that's where your victory comes in. This is, yep. And the nine of wands in reverse. So leaving things in the past that had been burdens. Now it's not quite the 10, but the nine two is the wounded warrior. So it's leaving all that stuff and not carrying it with you into the future because this is a new beginning for you. This is what you've been wishing for and it's going to happen. Keep your eye on the prize is what I keep hearing. So if you're wanting something to move forward at work, this is gonna be something you didn't even realize was a wish fulfillment. Trust them. They've got your best interest at heart. They're always looking out for you. This is not something you want to sit and wait for. This is a victory. This new person that could be coming in, this passionate new beginning, could be something that you actually really wanted deep within and didn't even realize. So Spirit wants you to focus on that because this is beautiful energy. The Three of Wands and the Six of Wands is like everything that you could dream of, maybe not exactly the way you, you thought you wanted it, is gonna come true and you're gonna be really excited about how it turns out. All right, so we're gonna clear this and we'll get into your person's energy, your energy, and all the other stuff I mentioned before. So think about them for just a moment. Whoever that may be, even if it's somebody from the past, and we'll see what's going on. This is for Capricorn. 
Ooh. Cards want to talk. This is for Capricorn. All right, let's flip this. And your person's energy. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse with the Hangman, the Tower in reverse, and the Six of Cups in reverse. Your energy is the Empress, the Temperance, Devil in reverse, and the Five of Wands. And then the Page of Swords in reverse. So again, this feels like some of you that might be waiting to see if somebody's going to return. I don't feel like that person's going to speak up right now. If that's not it, then a relationship that you happen to be in right now, there's a lack of communication. That person could be immature in the way that they communicate. And that's where the restorative energy needs to come in and things you need to have that conversation we talked about in the main reading. So right now, they're not in a place where they're open to giving a tremendous amount. They're kind of closed off, male or female. The hangman says that they're stuck right now. They're not in a place of clarity. The tower in reverse, something big could have shifted and changed in their life. Now, if you're with this person, you could have experienced this along with them and there's some kind of shift that's happening with them and you're like, how do we work this out between us? We need to talk about how things worked in the past. Now this too could be someone from the past that's not coming forward. So right now their energy just seems to be very stuck. They could be going through some of their own troubles. So we didn't talk much about the signs before, but I remember the cards. I can see them in my, my mind. So we were we have, uh, I'm sorry, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for sure. There's a lot of water here. And I have Leo, Sag, Aries. Yes, there is some Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And then your energy, Capricorn energy. Now, you are showing up as the Empress, the Temperance, Devil, great, the energies in reverse, and then the Five of Wands. So there's still a little bit of this internal battle, but you're looking great. So that work we were talking about, you're putting it back into yourself. The Empress is about not only feeling fulfilled within and feeling good, but it's, she's just kind of on top of her game is what I want to say. Your patience always pays off. I know you guys sometimes want to kind of push forward, but you also have patience as well. You know things are going to turn out. You really do. And I think your belief system has come to a place where you trust more in spirit, you trust more in the flow than you were before. So in as far as this relationship is, you, you've had patience. So if you're willing to wait around, it may still feel like it's a little bit hard to deal with. I do think that you're releasing any kind of, um, do I, yeah, toxicity, sure but it also could be just crazy thinking and i don't mean you're crazy don't take it that way it's like you're releasing the need to obsess about how this relationship is going to turn out all right so let's get the romance angels for you and see what they have to say this is for capricorn All right, so we have calling in your soulmate. Soulmate, wow, okay. Healing family issues and wedding. And then we have worth waiting for. Look at that. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So if you're in a current relationship, yes, it's worth waiting for this person to go through whatever internal battles they're going through. It feels like you two have a strong connection. Now, if this is someone from your past and you're still interested calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together soulmate 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 energy yes this is your soulmate healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents this to me feels like your partner it feels like that person is going through those shifts and changes you could have possibly dealt with yours or healing other things that needed to be healed for you but to me it feels like your partner has those issues that they have to heal through. And then wedding, the situation involves marriage. Like I said, if this was a long-term or a marriage, it feels like you're going to work through it because you guys are meant to be. Um, if this is someone from the past, maybe this is someone you could see yourself being married to. And that's why your pull is so strong because you know that you have a deep, deep connection. 
all right, so let's get the possible outcome for you. This is for Capricorn. Oh, sorry, that was kind of loud. This is for Capricorn, the outcome, please. So we have the King of, or the Knight of Pentacles, sorry, then the Seven of Wands, the Justice in Reverse, and the Page of Pentacles, and then the Three of Cups in Reverse. So before things can move forward and the two of you can find that happy place, there needs to be balance. You could also be dealing with a Libra. What I feel is two people getting on the same page. Right now, the energy feels a little bit defensive. So one person moves at one pace, the other person moves at another. I sense that the night is you. Very slow and steady. Now the other person may feel to you as if they bring things in small. Like they don't quite go at the rate that you go at. You feel very stable and steady. So there needs to be justice and balance is what I'd say in the relationship. Now if either person's feeling a little bit defensive or guarded, that's because these changes that they're experiencing, most likely it's your partner, or just feeling like you need to stand up and stand strong and let your partner know that this is where you are and that you want to make this relationship work. So it definitely has the possibility of coming together as the two of you get back on the same page if you're currently together and if you're not, there's a good possibility that things could absolutely rekindle. All right, so let's get the Lover's Oracle for you. Let's see. This is for Capricorn. All right, so we have criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. That's what I was talking about within the, the deeper relationships, whether it be long-term or marriage. And then we have friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. There we go. All right, last but not least, we're going to get a couple of messages from Spirit with the Wisdom of the Oracle. This is for Capricorn. All right, so we have co-create. So co-create with your partner. Poised, a leg up, mending, and clean it up. Cleaning up that old stuff, clearing it out, not focusing on it for sure. Co-create with your partner. Stay poised. Stay in your good balanced energy. There's a lot of force showing up here, so it's a lot about balancing things out. I do see you in a really good place, like feeling good. Um, your energy feels a little bit light for this month as well, so things may not be as heavy as they were. Now, a leg up. There you go with another four. Four, four, four is gonna be big for you probably in August if you see that often. Now this means that you could have a leg up, you know, in the situation. In other words, I don't wanna say you, um, you know this person well. So you have the clarity that maybe they don't. Now, mending, this is all about taking the time to mend the things that may not have worked in the past Recreate. Be open to the fact that your person could be going through some things that they just don't have an easy time articulating. But this will feel like a month where you've mended some of the, the old past wounds, heartbreak, coming back to a place of openness and willingness to let things flow and know and trust that the universe is bringing you exactly what you want, what you deserve. Okay, Capricorn, thank you so much. I, again, for all of your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes, the personal reading info is in the description box. I hope you guys enjoy your month. Thank you so much for being here. Love you so much. Take care, and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.